far, how far should we go in the use of the contempt as a mechanism to achieve? We all agree that there's a need to protect the sanctity of the judicial process. In this case, you punished those who uttered those who uttered the statements that were contemptuous. And then you punished the owners of the media house where the statements were uttered. The owners of the media house. Um, should we go this far in the use of uh, the contempt to protect the integrity of the process. Is it not enough that we punish the authors of the contemptuous statement? Should we punish the owners, the investors? And did we consider what we're doing to investments in the media industry by punishing people who just put money into an enterprise and may not necessarily have the professional capability of managing what is set on the enterprise. And in answering this question, and I read the judgment, and I, in answering the question, let's advert our minds to the difference between the editorial board and an investor in a media house. That's my first question. I am not comfortable about being called upon to justify a judgment that we have delivered. But in general terms concerning the scope of of the of of the of con of exercising the contempt power or the of uh, of labeling something to be contemptuous. I believe that each case will dictate the outcome. That's, the, that's as far as I'm prepared to go. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. Uh